most of the women in the DR have been ran through. Besides, certain places are not the place to find that special someone. Have you ever been to the Caribbean islands and thought to yourself, this is not what I had in mind when I thought of coming down here for the first time? Yeah, it's great, but what if you could find exotic women that haven't been touched by every international trick for 4,000 pesos? Well, I've been thinking the same thing, and I decided to do the research and present to you the Passport King's pick for the seven little-known Caribbean islands with beautiful women. Some of my picks may be well-known to frequent travelers, but to the uninitiated, this list would be better than dying after living a morally righteous life. You'll be taking your first trip through heaven. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when you're picking your next vacation. Now, if this is the topic you like, make sure to hit the subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you'll be in the know when I upload new videos. All right, so number seven is Trinidad and Tobago. This island is actually very well known, yet it has to be included on this list because the women are just breathtaking. Not as many people are vacationing down here because Trinidad and Tobago do have a lot of other problems that most vacationers would like to avoid. Certain areas in Trinidad and even over in Tobago can be a little rough. They have street gangs there that'll make the Pyrus and the rolling 60s look like choir boys at the Church of Latter-day Saints. But the Trinidadian girls are renowned for their extreme regional diversity from the mixing of many countries that post-populated their lands. The ladies are exceedingly pretty. The last one that you see won't even be close to the next one that you run into. On the island nation of Trinidad and Tobago, you will see people of different indigenous African, Asian, Arabian, Lebanese, European, and Latin American ethnicities. Although this place is pretty well known, it had to be put on this list because those girls are really, really cute and not a lot of people know about it. Alright, so number six is Dominica. Dominica has 74 million people. <laughs> Alright, I'm just kidding, but when I misquoted that stat the last time, even though I acknowledged it in the pin post pop up on the screen and, and even admitted to it later, I still get more comments than I've ever received in my life from people saying, it's 74,000, it's 74,000. One brilliant viewer even tracked down my personal phone number just to call me <laughs> and tell me that it should have been 74,000. Unbelievable. <laughs> I would eliminate that section of the video, which is really easy to do, but no way in the world will I stop all of that engagement. It's magical for my YouTube algorithm. I feel like misquoting a stat in every video from now on. <laughs> so I could keep getting views and comments from the holier than thou know it all viewers that swear they got their gotcha moment on me. But anyway, Dominica is a small island that does not receive much tourism. So they're the perfect choice if you're looking for little known islands with beautiful women. The girls that you'll meet at the airport alone, their looks will shock you into submission. They aren't the fanciest, bougiest females like many others on this list, but they are queens of natural beauty. Imagine Mac the Stallion without the makeup and the prostitute mentality. When you do decide to book a trip to Dominica, make sure that you search flights on book.passportkings.com. This way you can compare all the available prices from all of the minuscule booking websites that have purchased tickets in bulk to make sure that you're offered the absolute lowest price. All right, so number five is Bonaire. Like all of its sister territories, Bonaire is known, but not only for its beaches and exceptional dive sites. When you get to know the women of the island, you will be willing to dive down on them. Bonaire has an arid on-land climate. It's sometimes called Arizona with an ocean because it stays hot and humid. You won't have a hard time to get your new girlfriend from Bonaire to dress skimpy or pull that clothes off completely. The island waters teem with more than 350 fish species and 57 coral species. Thanks in part to the manageable number of visitors and extensive reef restoration efforts. Beyond snorkeling and scuba diving, adventure seekers can windsurf, sail, mountain bike, hike, and cliff jump from Boca Slagby Beach in Washington Slagby National Park. These are great activities to do when you're not acting like a hound dog chasing the chocolate sisters. As one of the region's most under the radar food destinations, you'll also have to try Spanish and Dutch influenced dishes and spirits like Pisca Criollo, which is pan seared lionfish, and Tequibon, a tequila like liquor distilled from a cactus, which is known to get the little soldiers marching. Alright, number four is Montserrat. The dramatic 39 mile peninsula is 
like walking down a runway to a model shoot. The number of black sand beaches, gorgeous women, lush rainforests, and a notorious active volcano that once caused residents and visitors to flee makes this one of the most interesting vacations you can ever take. Today is on the up and up though, with tours of the scorched exclusion zone, nine crowd free shores, and a number of big and small annual festivals. Now to see the women of this island in their full glory, go to the carnival parades and the calypso competitions. Alright, so number three is Guadalupe. Located in the northwest of Mexico, Guadalupe Islands represent one of the most remote paradises in the continental territory. The king of the seven seas, the great white shark, can be sighted here at certain locations and specific times. But the queens of the seven seas, the heart-stopping Creole Guadalupe women, they can be seen at the restaurants, clubs, hotels, and walking across the beach any other day. They also get all dressed up for Guadalupe's many exotic carnivals and exciting festivals, including the five-day Mardi Gras carnival, and that ends on Ash Wednesday. These fine tingling broads will give you chills with their dainty attitudes. Now if you're liking my video and my unique style of writing and editing, hit the super fan button right below. Nothing encourages me more to make more videos than money. Alright, <laughs> so number two is Antigua. The tropical islands of Antigua and Barbuda are located in the heart of the Caribbean east of Jamaica and close to Trinidad. The reasons to love Antigua are its beautiful white sand beaches, sailing, the 18th century Nelson's dockyard, unusual food choices, the largest colony of frigate birds in the Caribbean, and a whole bunch of shapely chicks. It has seemed like they are using the hell out of their gym memberships because many of them look like dark porcelain sculptures. One of my clients just came back from Antigua. He said there's a lot to see but not much to do as far as tourist traps. But the women there will make up for all of that quiet time. But you gotta go out and meet them though. Yo, my website is under construction right now. I had to make some major changes so I could just keep up with the times. But as soon as it gets back up, you'll be able to download my free travel light checklist. And that's going to help you be able to travel more, make great videos, and make a fortune online. Alright, so now number one is Nevis. Everyone knows St. Kitts, but its little sister Nevis is where you want to be if you're looking for little known islands with the most beautiful women. This 36 mile paradise is a whole different world compared to St. Kitts. You'll get the local feel that many of us travelers are looking for these days. Known as the land of beautiful waters, they need to give it another subtitle called the land of baddies. This tiny island is just southeast of Puerto Rico and west of Antigua. The whole region revolves around Nevis Park, the tallest peak made from a well of lava. Spreading out from that well of lava, you'll find estate-style lodging, elite fairways, and white coral and dark volcanic sand seashores. Cruise lines haven't built a port in Nevis. Tours get about 120,000 guests every year. The girls still have a mentality that hasn't been tainted by today's material girls who dominate the airways of America and Europe. Now, the video that I'm attaching to the end screen will give you a countdown of all of the islands where to find beautiful women. This list includes the already known popular hotspots in the Caribbean. It's great if you want to see what everyone else has already tried. But when you're finished visiting those islands, take this list and explore strange new worlds like a king of past wisdom.